To import a video inside of Adobe Captivate, you'll have to go to media right over here and there's an option called video right over here. So I want a video right over here in this section. So I'm just going to select this and I'm going to go to media right here and then I'm going to go to video. So you can see that there are two options for video. So one is slide video, which plays across slide right over there and is not associated with the fluid box and one which is an event video that is associated with the particular uh, film strip that is slide right here. So here there are two ways to import a video. One is I can enter a web URL or one I can import it directly from my computer. So I'm just going to um, import it directly from my computer right here by clicking on browse and over here I can select the video. So all of them are in mp4 format in my case but these are the different um, formats that are supported like FLB, F uh, 4V, AVI, MP4, MOB, and 3ZP. All of them are supported, but the suggested one is MP4 because that is what Adobe Captive will convert it into anyway. So in my case, everything is MP4 already. So I'm just going to select this out and I'm going to press open right over here and the file path is shown. So once I press OK, you'll be able to see the video right over here you can see that now the video is there so now i'll be able to preview this so let me just preview this um, project right over here so let me just preview this out so it's uh, generating the preview as you can see and over here you'll be able to see the preview right over here you can you can see that there's a video right over there so you can press the play button right over here and the video is played around so i can repeat this i can pause this i can stop this and there's the control as you can see right over here for the video as well so these are uh, the video controls and the way how you can integrate so there's the audio option over here as well and so forth so that's how you can import an event video. The other way is to import video is that you can go over here onto the media right over here and there's a slide video over here as well. So you can go over here onto browse right over here. So unlike a regular video, if you import the slide video, so let me just press OK and you can see that it is totally covering up the entire slide as you can see right here. It's much more bigger. So it's not associated altogether with the uh, slide itself, but it's bigger compared to everything else as you can see right over here. So you just have to resize this out right over here uh, in order to fit it pr properly as you can see. So this is independent of the uh, fluid box just like this. So you'll have to select this out just like this. So if I were to preview this out, play this slide right out over here, you can see that it is associated with the slide timeline as uh, like this. So I'm just going to stop that out over here. Another thing that you can also do is import YouTube video. So you can go on to media right over here and then go to video right over here. In an event video, there's not an option to import any YouTube, YouTube video as the, mm, for the time of making this tutorial. But if you go to go to the slide video right here, that's the YouTube video. So you can simply paste out the link and you can choose the start time. I'm just gonna leave that to zero and I'm going to press OK. So it's loading the video right over there as you can see and it'll insert the YouTube video player right over here onto the slide. So let's wait for a bit. And you can see right over here that my YouTube video on Cinema 4D is right here. So you can see that that is also associated with uh, the timeline right over here, as you can see, and it can actually move around just like that over here. So you can also bring in YouTube videos like this. And these are the ways on how you can import videos inside of Adobe Captivate. So right besides this, there's something called interactive video, but that is something we're going to focus on future lessons. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.